Since I have played video games basically since I can remember, I'm usually above average or average at most genres that I play. However, I really suck at fighting games, especially one-on-one -on -one fighting games and stuff like that. Usually I'm just average or below average, but I really enjoy the genre overall. That's why I wanted to give you guys my top five fighting games on mobile. Let's get right into it. First up, we have Smash Legends. Now this is very similar to Smash Bros, except it's in a 3D space instead of the 2D side-scrolling fighting that you've seen in Smash Bros. Now all of the characters are so well-crafted in my opinion, and they all have their own unique personalities and their charming looks, and they all have different play styles, and you really get attached to certain characters because of who they are, and they really mesh well with your play style. And it's more of kind of a brawler type game, like I said, Compared to Smash Bros, it's not just a 1v1 fighting game, although it can be that way. There's multiple game modes, there's team fighting, there's 1v1v1v1, and there's just a little bit on offer for everyone here. And the monetization model is very similar to Brawl Stars, which I think is a very fair monetization system for free-to-play players. So if any of this sounds good to you, definitely check it out. Next, we have Street Fighter 4. Now, this is an absolute classic. The Street Fighter series has really helped flush out the fighting genre overall. And this one is no different. Now, this is the Championship Edition, and it's technically a port from other consoles or other platforms, but it's a really well done port with full controller support. And there's a variety of game modes, single player, multiplayer. It's really fun and satisfying. Now, this one's a little bit more technical than the others, and I really suck at this one. But I think if you just want a classic fighting game that you've seen on other platforms, this is as good as it gets. Definitely check it out. Next up, we have Vita Fighters. Now, this is my favorite on the list, and I think it's very slept on and extremely overlooked. Now, this has a variety of characters in it that are inspired by different animes or video games. There's people that look like Sora from Kingdom Hearts. There's people that look like Kakashi from Naruto. And there's just characters that are similar but different and they all have very, very deep play styles where you can unlock so many different combos in this game. This game kind of comes off as a cheap, like, Minecraft-looking knockoff of a fighting game, but the mechanics in this game are so deep for a fighting game. And it's accessible, too. It has kind of, like, the simplicity of, oh, I can figure out certain combos, but if you really want to get deep with this game, you can. And I love the single-player portion, and I love that they're consistently adding new characters. This is free, too, so definitely check it out. Next up, we have Skullgirls. Now, what really sets this apart, other than its amazing art style, is its controls. Now, in a fighting game, you have the normal fighting controls to pull off a lot of combos and very specific combos, but this one, it translates it to touchscreen with swiping motions and tapping motions and holding motions, and it really does maintain that depth, but then with that simplistic control scheme. It's really, really impressive that they've managed to have such a deep fighting system with such a simple control scheme. And it's something that you definitely need to check out, especially if you like Marvel Contest of Champions, because that has a simple swipe fight style that's really good too. But I feel like this one's much better and much deeper, and it has a higher skill ceiling. So definitely check this out if you want a simpler control scheme, and it's really tailored for mobile. Last, we have Brawlhalla. Now, this one gets written off as a Smash Bros. clone, but I don't think it's like that. Now, you do hit people off the stage in order to kill them. However, each character that you play as or unlock can utilize two weapons, and you obtain those weapons on the stage as you're fighting. And those weapons can be ranged weapons or melee weapons or a combination of the two. And so it's really fun, and you can really figure out unique play styles and which characters you really enjoy. And it really does give the actual fighting style and the strategies on each map a completely unique flavor that you don't experience in Smash Bros. So I highly suggest you guys check this out and it has cross progression and it's cross platform and it has full controller support, which is something that you don't see on mobile that often, at least right now. So definitely go support a game that does that. 
All right, guys, those are my top five fighting games on mobile. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment. It really helps out small channels like mine, and I appreciate you watching to the end of the video. If you want to see more content from me, check out any of the links in the description down below. I have a TikTok especially that I cover a lot of mobile games that I don't cover on this YouTube channel, and it's my largest platform. However, YouTube remains my priority. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.